So, John, in, in your eyes, if you could summarise traditional Tory values, what, what would you say they are? Well, what we were doing with Margaret Thatcher when I was her main policy advisor was generating greater prosperity by lowering tax rates and promoting faster growth. We grew the cake more quickly. Uh, we allowed ent enterprise to flourish. And we got more revenue in from the mm. lower tax rates than we were getting in from the higher tax rates. And that would be my number one recommendation to the Prime Minister and particularly to the Chancellor. Get rid of all these higher tax rates. You will slow the economy too much. You will actually collect less revenue. Mm. We need to go for growth, grow for prosper go for prosperity in the way that Margaret Thatcher did. Mm. Because even if I look at that, I can see that if you restrict the amount of money that people have by taxing them on national insurance and, of course, uh, making it difficult for companies to employ by taxing national insurance, even I can see that that doesn't sound that progressive in terms of uh, getting people to spend and sort of stimulating the economy. But we have had an unprecedented two years where there appears to have been no choice, really, but for them to behave in this manner. Would you not see that as maybe the reason why they're behaving like that now? Well, indeed, I, I backed them and the Bank of England in 2020. It was right to uh, create a lot of extra money, something you don't normally get away with because it proves inflationary. Unfortunately, the Bank of England went on creating too much money last year as well. And so now we have um, a bit of a nasty inflation to get rid of. And I supported, along with all my colleagues, the very big handouts in 2020, because if you shut down a quarter or more of the economy and don't let people work, the government has to step up to the plate and offer alternative incomes to see them through. But you can't go on doing that. And what we now need is to see all those special expenditures washed out. I don't think we can afford this great big free test and trace anymore. The, the big cost of the vaccine program should now be behind us. All the extraordinary costs of tackling COVID in our hospitals should be largely behind us. And so we now need to see a bit more discipline in public spending. Um, we're getting quite a lot more monetary discipline from the Bank of England. Indeed, they may be lurching from too little to too much discipline. So again, I would urge the Chancellor to go for growth, get the tax rates down. Uh, let's have a lot of import substitution. Let's get more of our own oil and gas out of the ground instead of importing it all. That's the way you get more better paid jobs, more tax revenues in Britain, and you're on the way to prosperity.